Cash, the Flash Gill from the UK, and of course Alex Tui from Australia. Middleweight title. Here we go. Well, I tell you what, I think Alex Tui uh, is going to need both arms and both legs to take this way. 70 kilos of fighting machine, 28 fights, 26 wins, but look at the KOs. 19 before the rounds have finished. As you notice with those KOs, the, the KO rate has picked up in recent fights. Yes, he's obviously warming to the task. Now you're going to see the size difference between these two boys. This guy is a... Oh, well, he's a telegraph pole, mate. As I said before, he's a, he's a, a giant. Seventy-one point three kilos. He's had thirty-three fights, twenty-seven wins, nine KOs. So, not a good KO record in the true sense of the word compared to Tui. But uh, he's going to have to really work hard tonight for this. Of course, he hasn't come all the way from the UK to go home empty-handed, or for that matter, to leave his belt here. Ooh, judging by the way he's dressed, too, mate. He's a he's a no-frills boxer fighter. Back to basics. Back, Back to, to basics, basics, mate. Back to basics, and uh, I like to see that. I'm not in for this. Uh, vibrant colours and so forth. I like the back to basic fighters. Once again, no shin guards for these boys. Foot guards only. The foot pads are in vogue. Alex in the Australian colours, the uh, green and gold. And they finally cleared the ring. Now, Tui has to get in close. He cannot stay away and by the same token, Gill has to keep Tui away and use the reach advantage that he does have. These are the, you've hit the nail on the head, the tactics Alex has to use. He has to move in close, thus nullifying Gill's uh, kicks. And Gill has to keep him away with those, those long legs of his. Well, there's a foot difference in height. <laughs> Touch a of the giant. And away they go straight into it. And I know what Tui's fighting style's like, Greg. He comes straight out and he won't hold back. There'll be no stalling tactics. There'll be no feeling out. It'll just be, let's get in there and let's mate. get it on. One way, straight ahead. He wants that title. I know I, I had a, a sitting with him the other day. I wasn't actually talking to him. I was just listening to him speak amongst his group of friends and his trainers. And uh, his approach to this is, oh, tagged him with a left, nice straight through left. the guard. Because he has to reach up quite high yes. there too, the belt one. Yeah, you might have to jump a couple of times just to punch him in the face. Look at this. Alex is coming around with those big uh, left haymakers too. And they're colliding with uh, Cash Gill's head. And Elia slipped from two, but uh, he gains his footy. All right, now one of the slip there from Gill. Still very slippery on there. Tui so far being able to avoid that jab. Gill's not getting that jab going. He's got to get that jab out there. Now they've met one another before. Now this is once again this crab style of defence. Uh, we saw McDonald use it against Barker. Now Gill's prepared to use it against Tui again. Now those left and right's got through to his defence. Landed flush on the chin. Oh, he pulled him across the ring there. The referee's going to have to watch that. Left and right's coming down, a good kick. Knocked his feet away from underneath him. He's, he's, he's swept his legs right out from underneath him. That's a, a big, good, powerful good kick left from there from Alex Tui. Uh, Gill, so uh, we're looking at a war of attrition, as you call it, mate, and believe you me, these two fellas are going to earn their paychecks at the end of the day. Alex Tui is one, you couldn't be a fitter fighter. You couldn't, you're, not, you're not looking at a fitter fighter than this guy. I still don't like Gill's tactics. His head's leaning forward, he's not standing back and using his full height. It amazes me why he doesn't use that full height advantage and give you know another four inches of room between him and Tui. And that means Tui's got to come another four inches closer to get in. Maybe maybe Gills. Oh, look. big left and right, and that's put Alex backwards. Is he going to call that a slip? Oh, it was very close on that one there. I would have liked to have had a look at that again, but very close. It was a good left and right combination from Gill. Look when his legs stick out from sitting on the stool. They should bring in a bigger stool for the man. Poor little bugger. He's got to sit on a kindergarten stool when he's a, he's, a, he's a high school student. Right? He's two feet sitting in that powers insignia. Oh. And then moving out for round two. Alex Keen to get on with it straight into the centre. Watch Tui. He'll come straight at him. He won't stop. Look, straight in. Bang. Tries with that left kick. Right, left. Oh, lefts and rights from Tui. He's going to get hit if he goes in there like that. Gill's good. Two boys are working at it very hard. But Tui's got great defence. The Tui's, when, when he does that right kick, he puts his head down. Don't put your head down. Yeah, he's got to keep that head up. 
And of course, he's got a beautiful left thrusting um, jab there. Because Gill grabbing to him, yeah. and the referee steps in. Gill's changed from that crab style of defence. <laughs> Tui nearly went over the ropes in. Oh, okay. lefts and rights from Tui. These boys are going to trade punches. Gill doesn't like the way that Tui's coming at him. Whoops, hang on, get my foot off the rope, he says. And Tui straight in. But you think Gill would get that jab going and just keep him away? I think Tui's a little bit too fast for him this time. And, uh, it's a, it's a look, shaving up to be an entirely different fight from the first time these guys met. Oh, two boys now, working in one another. This is Alex Tui being stalking his prey. Here he dropping his head again, and of course, uh, Cash Gill getting out of the way quite easily. <coughs> Mate, excuse me, the dust in the joint's just getting to me. Oh, the two fellas exchanging Ooh, it back in centre nice ring. Big rip to the body by Alex Tui. Oh, that was Wasted a nice energy, hit. left himself open. Tui came straight in looking for the gap, and there was a gap there. There was a gap, but Cash Gill got up there with that side kick and uh, stopped uh, Tui in his tracks. Alex Tui so far fighting the right fight. Absolutely. And I'm just starting to know a little bit of fatigue coming into Gill. You notice the end of that round there, the kicks weren't as punchy, they weren't as exact as they had been earlier on in the fight. And we're only three rounds into a ten rounder. Ten two minute rounds, one minute break in between. We come out now for round three, this is going to be tough, they're fanning him down. That's a new way of blowing on your chips. You see that? The towel. I like that, that's something new. Something new. Well, Tilly straight back out to the centre of the ring, he's trying to work him into a corner, cut the ring down. To his recent records, put him in the right frame of mind for this uh, encounter with Gill. He's moving in beautifully. Yeah, absolutely. He's taking a bit of gloves, but a bit of puffiness around Alex's face, so he's obviously worn a few in the first two rounds. But now the exchanges. This is what we like to see, folks. This is two boys that are well-conditioned, well-trained, and this is definitely a world title fight. Gill continues to crouch, and just on against that approach to this fight, he's coming down. To Tui when he should be making Tui punch up to him. Oh, good uppercut. Oh, that hurt too. Gill's had to back away and regather himself a little here. Tui sneaks a right in through the guard. Tui's uh, crowding Gill. Gill's finding it very difficult to throw his punches and his kicks. We haven't seen too many kicks. Oh, there's a big kick yeah. from... Uh, right, just as I was about to say, we haven't seen too many kicks and uh, straight away we get one. Of course, he lifted that leg up. It was only up to his waist, and he built it uh, to him in the head. Very untidy, right over the top of us right at the moment. But these two boys are pushes to him away. Now, they're into to his corner now. To will just try. Oh, oh comes that. with a big right uppercut. That's the second time that punch has come in, and we might have ourselves a count. Have we? No, he's going to call it a slip. Crowd was up on its feet then. Oh, left. Snuck the left through. Left and right. Oh, this is definitely to his round. Definitely to his round. I would have given the first two to the champion, but I think to his coming on now. To his found his feet. And of course, he looks like he's found his fist. See, look, he's, he's moving in on Gill, and uh, he's crowding Gill. Crowd. Gill is just not moving as freely as he was in those early stages of the fight. OK, here we come out. Round four. Gill letting Tui move in. He's not using his reach at all, Will. Left. Left again. Over the top right. Gill missing with his left. Michael Thomas trainer there just in the background sitting right beside the ring and watching this with a lot of intensity. He'll be going home and telling his boys just how well this Alex Tui fights. Oh! Big kick with solar plexus. So he wore that, comes straight after Gill. As Gill is the champion, he's got those championship qualities about him. He can uh, come out with something special to uh, get himself out of trouble. Oh, 
Roundhouse kick by Alex Tui. And Ooh, coming in with a fist. That left too. That left him working very well for Tui. Ooh, he nearly knocked Tui off his feet there. Short left kick. Ooh, there's that uppercut by Tui. Because Gil comes back with that front kick. Does it so easily, Gil, with that front kick. Just lifts his uh, leg up and belts it out. He's got such long legs. But Tui comes back again, moving in with those left oh, and right, and he misses Alex. and slips. Oh, Alex is in a bit of distress then. The referee should step in here because that was a, a definite slip. But Alex is strong. He'll come back, hopefully. Oh, good right over the top of the guard of Gil. This is the crowd's on its feet. Alex right. Tui looking a little tired. Yeah, definitely so. A worthy main event, too. Sure. Deserving of the top of the deserving of the title fight. A little bit of compression work going on the nose here at Tui and under the left eye. Well, as we said in round three, a little bit of puffiness was forming under the eye and they had to do the work, as we called it, in the corner then on the eye and the nose area. A little bit of concern with that. Caskill getting a final wipe down. The ref wasn't happy with the amount of moisture on the upper body. Out they come now. As we start round five, this is one hell of a fight. Greg, these two boys are definitely earning their paycheck. A great blue, mate. Mate, I, I can honestly say to you, either one of these fellows could hit the canvas at any time. Well, they, they both look, they both look tired uh, last round, and of course, they're, but they've both come out with these incredible techniques, these big haymakers, and of course, if any one of those hit, they could uh, well, put the other guy out for the night. Well, Tui looked out on his feet at completion in round five, and he's come straight back out in round six, and he's straight back into it again. Misses with the uppercut. He's getting kicked away in the shin area, but he just stands there and keeps throwing gloves. That's how fit these guys are. They can come back after being absolutely exhausted. Their, their recovery is incredible. And oh, big left snuck right through. Gil's got to back up here and grab a bit of time because that hurt. That hurt. He is definitely hurt, Gil. Now his corner's yelling at him to pick us up. Pick it up. Keep control of this fight. The champion is in a little bit of distress. Tui's guard very low. Tui wants to get that guard up. You can still see Gill's guard is much higher than Tui's. Tui's fighting with that low guard. But he snuck lefts and rights and a big right uppercut right on the chin. Greg, this could end at any stage or it could go the distance. You just don't know with these two boys. A seesawing battle going on in the ring here. Of course, Alex Tui looking the better at the present. Oh, snapped Alex's head back. A right from Gill was beautiful. Oh, he's giving him a good front kick and that's got to be a knockdown. Nope. There's no way. No, he just ran into his foot. Of yeah, wasn't and look at Alex Tui. He nearly jumped on top of him. Alex Tui sensing a kill here, mate. Oh, the excitement inside the place, mate. You can feel this crowd. The energy coming from the crowd has got to be getting through to these two fighters. They have been going at this. Hammers and tongs. Good name for a Chinese restaurant, mate. Man, I tell you. What's on? Yeah. Oh, look. He's, he turned around then. He didn't know what to do, Alex. He was that buggered he couldn't turn back around. Completion of the round. And these two boys are definitely in their seat. Round six. Round, well, round six, six is about to start, mate, and uh, I would have to score this 3 2 in favour of Tui at the moment. Tui's been more the aggressor, of course, uh, the, a seesawing battle. That last uh, round I would give to Alex Tui. Just good. Oh, left and right, snuck through Gill's guard into the corner. Once again, Gil uses that height to get out of the rope, out of the corner, and back away from them ropes. With Alex Tui. Gil can't get away from that uh, jab by Alex Tui. Alex cuts the ring down very, very well, doesn't he? Alex, the uh, better of the two in the hand area. Gil, of course, with his long legs, uh, he should be using his legs a whole lot more, but he's not. He's trying to mix it with uh, Alex Tui. Uh, he's coming off second best when he does. What a mistake. Left and right from Tui. Chases him across the ring into the neutral corner. Gil now drops his guard. Tui cops a few lefts and rights. Referee steps in. I don't know what for. What's the problem Time here? Out. Oh, uh, there's a glove. A very minor point. I tell you what, I think that was in uh, definitely in the favour of Gil there. No, the referee says we've fixed it straight away. Out they come. Tui straight to the centre of the ring too. The two boys are working very hard now. Heart rates would be very high and they'd be very, very tired fellas. Mate, heart rates. Uh, the whole crowd's heart rates. Uh, their hearts are jumping out of their mouths. Finally, the uh, camera boys get something to shoot. Oh, left. 
big left from Tui. Snuck it right over the top of the guard, but then Gill comes back. Oh, oh. haymaker from Tui. All the court was there. The kicks have gone by the wayside at the moment. It's a glove fight. Gill, watch out for that Alex Tui uppercut. That right uppercut is down, dynamite. Oh, right over the top. Oh, oh left. left. Catching Gill fair on the chin. Tui is off the ground with body weight in momentum as he throws those punches. A, oh, big right. A jumping right. He's got the champion on the race. The champion is really going to find out how big a champion he really is at this point How big time. is this champion's heart? Of course, all the champions have big hearts, but how big oh, is this guy? Oh, left again, true. Alex, Alex Tui is looking kick. very tired. He loses his balance and he sort of wonders, how am I going to keep it all together? Alex Tui looks tired, but he's still strong. Come out with oh, Haymaker. Oh. That push, over. push sends him to the neutral corner. Tui will use this to his advantage to gain some extra breathing space. Bell sounds, completion of round six. Mate, we've still got four rounds to go. As I said to you, either of, either of these fighters could go out to stretcher. A seesaw, mate. A Absolutely. Seesaw. Good way to call it. Okay, here we come, round seven. Tui straight back out like a little bull terrier. Oh, Tui, Tui covers up and then let's go with that big right. He's also kicking well still. Oh, I thought he nearly dropped him then. See the size difference here. You get a good uh, look at it here. Because Alex Tui has to do a whole well, lot Tui's of Tui's chest is up about Gill's waist. Yeah, that gives you a fair indication of the way it is. But the big fella, when he does go with a front kick, he leaves himself open. Now, what's the call again? This referee is uh, very pedantic about the taping of these gloves. He's not happy. The moisture this time. The amount of moisture on Gill's body is a concern. He's saying well, there's all too night, much. All night, um, these, uh, the boxes have been, the fighters have been falling over with the, the Oh, big idea. right. And another big right. Two big rights in a row. That sorely sought Gill out, but he stands like a oh, colossus. Two he misses with a huge right. Darryl Loose Lakes is somewhere out there in the crowd, <laughs> mate. He'll love you for saying that. As the boys work it in now as they come around. Oh, look, this has just got right out of hand. These two fellas have lost their technique at the moment. They're going no, for it's haymakers. A it's a brawl. Now, here comes Gill. Lefts and rights. Tries with the right kick. Gill still working, finding the range now. He's got Tui in the corner. Tui is going to have to get out of this neutral corner. Tui. Lefts and right. He's ducking and weaving. Any minute, too, he's got to go down to the canvas, you'd think. But no, the little fella says, not me. I think Gill's punched himself out. I think they've both have punched themselves out. Tui's just staying on his feet. That left eye's puffing up. Tui's being very evasive anyway. A lot of these kicks... Oh, there we go. That big uppercut Ooh, from Tui. Oh, the left right on the chin. Now a little pace has gone off the fight at the moment. And there's that left again from Alex. Tries it over the top right again. Just doesn't connect. Who is going to win, mate? Mate, I've got to stay with the hometown boy, but I, I tell you what, as I said, I wouldn't want to put any money on it. I wouldn't even put 50 cents on it. Either of these two fighters will walk away with the title tonight. No matter the outcome, there must be a third fight. No matter the outcome, as we complete round six. Well, they're obviously very, very evenly matched, these guys. Uh, it's been a seesaw all Mate, day. I've been calling this a 10-rounder, and I should point out it's a 12-rounder. 12 round. So I had made a mistake in my calling her there. Well, that is good news anyway, isn't yes. it? Yes. <laughs> you think that they have finally reached the halfway point. <laughs> well, our ladies of the ring have uh, lost a bit of their punch. They've lost uh, a little bit of the vocalness of the crowd because this fight has been sensational. Seven rounds down. We're looking at round eight now. Big. <laughs> Round eight. A little bit of sound effects there. Well, here we go. Now, I don't know if this fight's going to change in style, Greg, these two boys. Well, it would be a shame if it did, mate. Yes. They've earned the crowd's respect tonight, both fighters. So Alex has to watch that. Every time he throws that right uh, turning kick, he drops his head. Because so far, Cash Kill hasn't yeah, been able to this lay one on Look, this is I cannot understand this referee. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, he's had a number of opportunities to fix that tape. He should have been in the corner between rounds and organising it. 
They've slowed all oh, lefts and rights from Tui. He wore them right on the chin, mate. You could see the facial expression change. Cascule, uh, one tough customer. Taking a hell of a punishment tonight. Uh, Alex Tui covers up very well, drops his uh, elbows, and of course makes it very difficult to uh, put a kick in or a punch in. Still a split decision this at the moment. It's gone. It's, it's an either way oh, situation. Oh, mate, I can't pick it. No, either can't way pick situation. It. I would have to say that if it goes this way for the rest of the fight, the champion would get the nod. Would that be... Well, as we were saying before, I mean, if you're the challenger, you have to do something special to... You've uh... got to take a little bit more out of it. The champion has that legacy of being the champion. And the, the pace has just gone off here at the moment in the eighth round. It's obviously the first seven rounds have caught up with these fighters. Yes, maybe they're having a risk for a big one in the ninth. Oh, I think the crowd needs a rest. Oh, lefts and rights. Oh, he snuck those. He, geez, he's done well with those combinations. He moves him well. He, he, when, when he gets in close, Alex too, he just gets those hands moving. Absolutely. Good. I think Gill's in a bit of trouble here. He's going to have to get off that rope. He's Gill. hanging on for grim life. Showing his experience there, grabbing uh, Alex Tui. 37 fights of experience, but uh, Tui is now working well into Gill. And Gill, as we complete. Oh, a little one after the bell. This is one hell of a fight, Greg, and uh, I think you've got to split it for a piece at the moment. Well, that round was indicative of the whole fight, I and mean, uh, you don't know who's going to win. It started off slowly, and then these guys ended up with a huge flurry. Well, nine of 12. This is round nine of 12, scheduled for 12, two minute rounds. Then goes that moisture, and this is half the problem of this slipping on the canvas. The excessive amount of spray that's been used on these fighters is just dripping down onto the canvas and Second bingo. Seconds are out of the ring. Now they're finally taping up that left glove, which has caused the problems throughout the last three rounds. No more compress work on uh, to his eye. They're quite happy with that. He's just told him to hang on a minute. He's got the seconds out of the ring. Ref brings him to the centre. Here we go for round nine. And let's see if Tui can maybe stem the flow here and do something special to bring this title to the Australian shores. Well, into the neutral corner. Tui's out like normal. Quick on top of him. Tui, the challenger, has to do something special. Now, Gil just hanging on. Tui working the body, trying to take the wind out of Gil's sails. The three breaks him. When they get oh, in close, good. That, hurt. Uh... that was a good kick. That actually hurt. Hit him around the kidney area, and that hurt very much so on Gil. Hurt him very much so. All right, Gil seems to be in a bit of distress here at the moment. He hasn't thrown much leather at all. Falling right into Alex to his hands at the present time. When they get in close, it's uh, more to Alex's advantage. There we go. Long distance throw from uh, oh, Alex to comes back beautifully with that left. Whoops, hang on. Get my leg in the ring, he says. I've got to keep it inside, don't I? Oh, Gil just drops that left kick, front kick forward. Keeps that left leg up. Right over the top. There's the Alex moving in again, crowding Gil. Because it makes it very difficult. For oh, good right. The right and left. Well, both fighters <laughs> Fatigue, mate. Fatigue on both those fighters. But that was a very strong right from Alex Tui. And that hurt Cash Gill. As Alex Tui comes oh. in and says, I'll hug you, honey. Yep. We've got to stop meeting like this. Yeah, mate. absolutely. Especially when the lights are on. Well, here we go. Both fighters are fatigued. It's oh, there's a haymaker. Oh, oh, for sure, out of the ring. He's going to take a lot to get up. He's going to need to be every bit of a world champion to get up. Tui in the neutral corner. Cash Gill on one leg. He's up on both. Now, nah, that says no way, Jose. Greg, you said it. You needed something special. Well, mate, it's come your way in the form of a big... Look at oh. that right uppercut. Tui comes in close, comes with another right, and straight out of the ring. But I'd like to raise a point. Did he or did he not hit his head on the outside of the ring when he came down? We're looking at that in slow motion. He did seem to crack the back of his head when he went down. He caught a little bit of whiplash there. Well, what a punch from Tui. He just oh, lifted the big man. Well, we got a world champion. Another world champion. It's a yeah. Capuchendi before. Yep. We've got two in Australia now. Australia is starting to come to the front line once again. He's up going to the hands, but Tui, is, he looks tired, mate. He's worked very hard here at the State Sports Centre. He is still tired. 
as his supporters raise him up to the crowd. The crowd is absolutely applauding this man. But you've got to give it to Cash Gill. He, he, he definitely fought like a champion. He wasn't going to take a backward step. Mate, uh, a great fight card tonight we've seen. Six bouts in all. We saw Barker take a very lackluster fight previous to this one. We saw a super kicker in the form of Steve Vick. Steve Vick. And now we've seen most probably a man that's going to hold on to a title for a long, long time, Alex Tui. Any thoughts before we sign off? Well, it's just been a great night's kickboxing and uh, it's been a pleasure calling with you and it's been a pleasure being here. And uh, I hope everyone out there and, of course, in the crowd here has enjoyed themselves as much as I have. Well, from my co-commentator, Greg Wiley, from myself, Mike Gilliam, and from the State Homebush Sports Centre, we bid you good